What is up, peoples of the internet? It is Crazy Hair TV time. Talk to him. Forgot to tell me that I didn't have the things of going on this week written down. Oh, so I, you know how to do that. Thank you, Tim, very much for that. So, things that I found interesting that happened this week. Uh, one of them is built in 1880 uh, under the rule of Queen Victoria London's Buckingham Palace was built it has 775 rooms um, yeah it includes 78 bathrooms that uh, reminds me of a little wing song that's a different story it has 92 offices. Pollen falling on me. It has 52 royal and guest bedrooms. It has 188 staff bedrooms. Hmm. All right. So, that's a pretty big place. Also this week, happened in history, uh, you might want, some of us remember New Coke. Uh, that's right, New Coke. Before New Coke was just Coca-Cola. Then New Co then Coke decided, um, let's try a different formula and call it New Coke. That sucked. That sucked hard. Man, it was bad. So it didn't last long at all. Long. Mm, done. Over. That is why nowadays you have Coca Cola Classic. So if you didn't know, now you know. Coca Cola Classic. It was the biggest flop in soda history. So. The place we're at today, it's really hard to find unless you know where to look. Recorded this earlier in the week. Tim and I stopped by. Y'all have a look. Let's go. So we're off 30 at Cocker Hill Road today in Dallas. Behind this building, this AT&T building. And behind the building, you find a historical cemetery. Let's go read this placard and see what it says. This monument was put here in 2011. A uh, placard reads, The Southwestern States Portland Cement Company was established in this area in 1909. Many of the company's employees were Mexican immigrants who came to the, this area to escape the Mexican Revolution. The company name was changed after the Trinity Portland Cement Company purchased the business in 1915. The two company villages were built near the cement plant, one for Anglos, one for Mexican laborers. About 1918, the company donated the land for use as a community cemetery by its Hispanic, Hispanic employees. It is believed that the first people buried in the cemetery were victims of the 1918 influenza epidemic. 
including many children, a number of cement company workers, and their family members were interred here. And the cemetery was cared for by residents of the company town. The last burial interred here, a native of the village. He was killed in action in the Pacific during World War II and was originally buried in the Philippines. Although the company's housing was removed from the area by 1959, the, the, the cemetery remains as a reminder of the village which once occupied this area, sometimes referred to as Eagle Ford, Texas. Uh, there was a lot of little towns that makes up Dallas, uh, Eagle Ford being one of them. So as we enter the cemetery, it's rather small. Um, these here, of course, that's the that's the man that that died that they talked about on the plaque. Uh, very very overgrown guess we're talking about way back when this thing was here um, most of the graves uh, are just marked by rocks uh, fences at the religious artifacts Go this way. So this one is just it's just marked by lake bricks. And this one here is I don't know, you can barely see it. getting dark I know so this is just a forgotten cemetery behind this big AT&T building <laughs> all right so yeah if y'all ever in Dallas let's pull up to the gate bring the security they'll let you in it's in the back of the building on the very end of the property all right all right check this check this check check this out you gotta see you got to see this check this out So, I want to recognize some special people today. They are our locksmiths and have, uh, let's just say, special influence over things that goes on in the locksmithing world. So, uh, I like to say what's up to Charlie, what's up to Gabe. Keep up the good work, guys. What, Tim? What? Oh, Tim wants to do a shout out to UK. He wants to say what's up to Peter. What? Oh, put some ice cream on that hand so uh, it'll feel better. That's all Tim's got to say, right? Yeah. All right, guys. Catch y'all on the flip side. So. With that, that's all I've got to say today. Leave your comments below. We'll see you again next Sunday. And as I say, 
come for what the F and stay for the fun.